Yesterday I started mixing up my pollen sub and burnt out this pathetic little drill that I was under the impression that it would work fine. And it's way, way underpowered. So today I've just been and bought myself something with some guts to it. Hopefully this will do the job. Well, this machine really does kick ass. So that mixed up pretty well. I'm very happy with the new piece of kit there. It's a good investment. I'm gonna be using this for a long time ahead, so I'm glad I invested in something that's gonna last, I hope. Still uh, absolutely maniac busy. I'm out this evening and this afternoon, pulling honey this evening, putting more bee escapes on for the last pull, uh, which will probably be in a day and a half. But I'm out this evening also, taking supers back, things like that. It's just, non-stop but I'm nearly there I've got two apiaries left to do and the other 11 are done so this afternoon I'm also taking off the escapes from yesterday's honey pool and I'm then uh, going through putting treatments in checking colonies feeding and excuse me then I'm getting another apiary ready to receive supers for tomorrow evening so it's kind of all in the bag within a very short amount of time I'll be completely done but it's just go, 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 go while the weather's perfect. Also, I've been able to get into all the apiaries easily. Even though it's bone dry, the only thing I can say that's good about it is every single apiary has been accessible right to where I want to go. So um, um, now it's just to get this pollen sub on these nukes, carry on extracting, which I'm doing all day tomorrow. All this lot to do. There's a load more stacked up behind. That'll be done, and then those supers will be going back out, as I said before, but overall, we're nearly there, and it looks like being a really good harvest for me, despite a lot of swarming in the spring. So I'm not counting any chickens before they hatch, but at the moment, uh, we're well up to four barrels, or hopefully make five or six at the end of it all. So it's good news. Anyway, a uh, little video on me finishing my queens. These have just gone in, but uh, it was just a bit of fun to show you how I run them in the incubator. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. So I've just come down to the incubator this morning, having great success with changing everything. Like I said, I was doing last time, I had problems and everything is looking peachy. You've got some gorgeous queens all hatched at the same time. It just proves that sometimes you can have a starter that's not good. And this starter I had was, was never really, really showing itself to be great. Now I've changed the starter and look at these cells, they're absolutely fantastic all hatched out i've got a load more in here still these are the hatched out last thing last night this is now seven o'clock this morning i actually came back from extracting honey at half 12 so i checked these last night and these are this morning so it's all pretty good so i've got more there about to hatch out and this is tonight's lot and then that's about it for the year all pretty good really anyway there you go nice lovely queens Going to get these into nukes today and what's left of those other ones that haven't hatched up, they're going to be banked for next week. 
and try and see how that works out. But it's just nice to have plenty of coins. Look at the abdomens on these, they're absolutely huge. This is one of the biggest problems I have uh, when I'm raising queen cells, is I get lovely queen cells hatching out and then they go back in the, back in the cell and you don't look, look in sometimes to see if they're hatched and don't notice they've hatched. And, and you don't notice they've hatched because they crawl back up in the cell and often they can't get out and then they die up in there. You see it wiggling around there, look. So what you've got to do is you've got to kind of peel the cell away at the base here, look, carefully. And then she'll come out. But it's not easy because it's easy to crush her. Look at that, beautiful. As this is my last batch of queens until next year, I thought I would show you that when I remove them from the cage, to just give them some feed before I'm ready to use them. Always pinch off that top bit, otherwise they will go back inside, as I said before. But also, what I do is I feed these inside these little holes. Now often, you can see, I'm just holding my finger over the hole there. The way I feed it, and it's just my personal way, is I actually put honey in one of these little corners of the Nico cage, the Nico hair roller cage. And that's enough, that's all you need. So I've got some spring honey from this year. And I'm literally just putting it into that one corner, okay? And that's enough. And straight away when you feed them, in fact, she checks these out of the way, and I put it on the side downwards, straight away she's onto it. Sometimes also the queens do eat some of the inside of the old cell. And what happens, all the bits then drop down and fill up this thing inside. So we just flick it like this. And it all comes out. And then you can put your honey in after. It's a better example here. You can see all these deb this debris falls down and blocks and gets in these little holes so you just flick it so it all comes out and then you can then put your honey in there so she's stuck that's a short cell, but the size of the queen's still good. Come on, dear. See, they're all eating, they're not moving. That's good. Now I give them a drop of water after I put them in the incubator. That water has also been standing around for a couple of days and lost its chlorine. You need, need either deionized or distilled or basically mineral water. Okay, the pure water you can. I'm using tap water, it's fine, but just take it out a couple of days before so it loses its chlorine, just in case. A little pipette, get them from the chemist, dead cheap. Pence each. You get a precise drop on the, on the queen. You do not want to put too much water. One drop on top of the cage is all she needs. Another thing I found is I was putting my queens in the top and there is a breeze here when they've hatched out. A slight breeze. So what I'm doing is I put all my hatched queens now in the bottom. So in they go. These are the latest batch. I know these are all this morning's. And they'll be out this afternoon being used. So I've got a load of nukes to check and to queens to go in. Some that were queened the other week that didn't weren't successful. They killed the queens. I wasn't. I put, put queens in there too early. Just enough room at the moment. It's all getting a bit tight. 
There we go. Let's give it some water. One drop on every single one. You know then they've had everything they need. You give them too much honey, they get covered in it. And there's no nurse bees to keep them clean at the moment. So remember that. Some of these will be directly introduced, others will be put in the bank. And those two at the back. And then we're done for now. In about three hours time, I'm gonna come, I'm just off to the workshop now to get clean up from last night's extraction. Then I'll come back and I'll take some of these out and get them in. But that's good.